Hey, Beard, with you today with a new idea. I was thinking, because I was just thinking now, I, I just watched a video where I took out this and explained how, like to myself, on how this could be, this my, my, my cute little flashlight here used as a formidable weapon. And other bike related topics, so I thought I'd discuss a couple of bike ideas. So now out my shed, I have a mongoose alert, which is like an orange mountain bike kind of bike. It's a 21 speed, but the rear sprocket seems to have stopped working, and I was thinking if I save up, I could probably get a rat. And here's my explanation for getting such a bike. Hear me out. So I'm thinking, I, I've taken what... I, Wood shop. This is my second year taking a wood shop in high school. I was using this this um, knowledge to build what is commonly referred to as a bike camper system. It's almost like a miniature, like you know, like a camping van, camper van, except you scale it down to the scale of a bike and make it only for one person. It's great for like if you want to cross country on your bike, basically, because like you could rest in that camper. Has like a little camping soap, other things made by a good man known as Paul Elkins. Uh, I wanted to take that idea and combine it with a rad wagon. Now, unless you've been, if you're an electric bike enthusiast, you'll know that it's one of the more po popular electro car electric cargo bikes out in the market right now. It's at a good price too. It's one of the cheapest, made by Rad Power Bikes. I was thinking if I take one of those models. Two of the cargo bags designed especially for that. I have a solar panel rig set up so that way I can take that solar energy and charge two or maybe one spare battery for the model. I could have a robust unlimited charging system. Because, you know, solar energy is a non renewable, is a renewable energy source. So, Taking that into mind, you can have that in another cargo bag to support if you're going to get like one of those three fold out ones, you can have it either on top of the camper and have like a wire wire rig sit going from that thing over to there and like have another like electro separate electronic system in that. I think that would be a good idea. And, like if you have like an extension cord for when you want to disconnect the bike. And then you take that idea, put it into action, and you got yourself a little probable survival shelter. The only thing you need for your trip is money. Perhaps a if you want to earn money on the go, you can even improve upon this design by actually having your own your own home in this little system by simply having a job where you work from home. You're basically making money on the go <laughs> in a way, so that you like permanently live out the rest of your life if you if you if you would like such a lifestyle out on the road. I don't know, I just got this idea of a combination from from like a combination of that idea and mainly from a popular novel by John, by John Steinbeck, popular American author, which he puts a series of stories in which he's traveled across America in a small camper in a, in a small truck which he's refitted out to be like a small camper. I'm thinking, if you were to save up enough money, you could probably do that. Even with, like, saved up money, rather than... But I think, with today's technological improvements, you could actually do a lot more. Like, again, as I said earlier, have your job with you. So that way you could still make money digitally. And then save that money, like, to, like, a, credit, to like a bank account, like a credit whatever account. And then you could just simply buy supplies when you're done, if you're traveling cross-country. Cross and the only reason why I say an electric bike, not like a normal bike, is because in the event that you get too tired, you can just start using electrical energy. Or even fit it out with a... Or if you want to just take a normal bike and just put a couple of cargo bags in the back, you could also do uh, a two-stroke bike engine kit and just carry fuel either on you, like either on like in the cargo bag that you may have, and like have another one like have like a, I don't know, like a thing with, where it's fuel on one side and like survival supplies on the other side. 
No, you do that. So that way you can, like, again, go out on your own, but instead of using electrical power, you're using diesel power. Diesel or gas power, which you can just stop at a gas station and pick up. Eh. Just like an idea for those who are, like, nomads wanting to travel across country in the most smallest way possible. I like traveling small, really. So I'm thinking, maybe I should do something like that for, like, I don't know, stuff. I think it would be a good idea, especially like how you could perhaps do like a tow hitch mount. But then there's also the question of water. How do you get fresh water? You just simply buy like gallon jugs? I, I completely neglected that. I think one of the best options there would be to go to your local gas station, pick up those, or like a dollar store, and pick up like a couple of one gallon jugs of water and just keep them somewhere. Besides that, I don't really know how you're gonna, you would get water. Because, like, you can't hook it up to, like, a water supply that you can see on an RV. But I thought that was a good idea. I just wanted to share my thought on that real quickly. I had to get it out. I've been thinking about this for, like, the past year. Ever since I saw the original concept for the bike camper on a YouTube video. I thought it was a nice little idea. Like, you could have this thing and travel around states go right across the con con continent if you wanted to, with enough supplies, of course, and a suitable amount of money to get the supplies on the go. So, I don't know, just, just a little bit of brain food for those who have somehow stumbled across my channel and haven't watched my other videos. Right, I guess that's all I wanted to say, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna sign off now, and, uh, it's late, probably gonna rest in bed with a phone in front of my face for the next hour. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Good night.